a wiki how, how to be pretty. Take care of yourself, get eight plus hours of sleep. Bro, I never stood a chance. Hey guys, it's Sharon. Welcome to welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered if you had iPhone face? I sure haven't because it doesn't even sound like a real thing to me, but TikTok says it is, so here we are. iPhone face came about to describe faces that look like they would only exist in the generation of iPhones. This especially went viral with Hannah Dodd, who plays Francesca and Virgin of season three. Her face is too modern. She looks like an iPhone 15. So of course, TikTok saw a new potential in security brewing and a bunch of people started posting selfies and asking if they had iPhone face. Why do we have to have a term for everything? Like, can we just live? You say as you ask if you have the new term and encourage its usage. We don't need to have a term for everything. Can't we just live? Yeah, you're so right. So true, bestie. What should we call that though? Like, you know, not wanting to have a term for everything and just living in the moment. It has to be something good. Something that like Gen Alpha would eat up. Hypocrisy? Mm. Mm -mm, no. Missing the point? Mm, mm -mm. A fraud? Mm, no. I don't like that one. Kentucky? Oh, yeah, yeah, I love that one. I think the worst and scariest part about posting yourself online and asking for strangers' opinions on your looks is posting yourself online and asking for strangers' opinions on your looks. Take this TikTok, for example. I know I have an iPhone face, and that's okay. Now let's read some of the comments. Nah, you give Declaration of Independence vibes. You have the furthest thing from an iPhone face. I feel like you'd be the village woman that can make a mean potato stew and sawdust bread. You kind of give Stone Tools era. You honestly give burn the witches at the stakes in the best way possible. What do you mean I give Declaration of Independence vibes? This would send me into crisis mode. What do I and this man have in common? My teeth are real. My hair is real. I don't support slavery. Also, it's giving burn the which is at the stakes in the best way possible? What is the best way possible? Am I burning them? What is the best thing about being a murderer? Am I getting burned? What is the pro? I am only seeing cons. I would take the potato stew compliment though. That's like a great skill to have, you know, super useful for the apocalypse. Other than that, um, a lot of these comments just feel backhanded. Kind of like the facial harmony trend. Facial harmony means your features work really well aesthetically together. It means you can have features that are not seen as conventional attractive or perfect and it still works well together and you're still attractive. I would argue facial harmony is a lot more important than having features that are conventionally attractive. For example, you can have thinner lips, a weaker jaw, um, a bigger nose, a hooked nose, smaller eyes, and you can still be conventionally attractive because your features work well together. Opposite of that, someone could have a strong jaw, a button nose, big eyes, big lips, and they can still be unattractive if their features don't work well together. It's more about where those features are placed on your face than what they actually are. So if you have unattractive features, you can still be attractive. And if you have attractive features, you can still be unattractive? Huh? Y'all, beauty is subjective. Someone can think you're hot as shit while someone else thinks you like a crusty big toe. And you know what I'm talking about, because you've crushed on someone, showed your besties, and they asked you if you need to be institutionalized. But that's okay, because you thought they were attractive. The same applies to yourself. All that matters is that you think you're attractive, and you tell yourself that you're attractive until you believe that you are attractive. Fake it till you make it. That's how self-confidence works. Yeah. It's true. Definitely don't rely on random strangers on the internet to tell you that because nine out of 10 times, they will make you feel worse. Although the other one out of 10 times, it could completely boost your ego. Are the bad features in the room with us? Well, are they? That's right, y'all. Even pretty people don't feel pretty sometimes. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. A beauty trend that I was shocked made an appearance, no pun intended, were legging legs. This one was weird. So weird that TikTok banned it and replaced it with a hotline, which if you need it, please use it. The reason I was shocked is because I thought we left this dead and buried in 2014 when they were called thigh gaps. Tumblr sit down. It really just goes to show that history repeats itself and more importantly, these beauty trends won't end and you will never be enough. There will always be something wrong because there needs to be something wrong. That's how they make money off of you. With a new beauty standard and a potential new insecurity, you have to spend more money on products and treatments to stay trendy. I mean, between straight versus arch brows, clean versus messy girl, siren eyes versus doe eyes, rat pretty versus frog pretty? What the hell even is 
that? What if I want to be raccoon pretty? What if I don't want everything to be a competition? What are yacht shoulders? Are you a transformer? I only have human shoulders. <sighs> Subscribe if you also have human shoulders or if you have yacht shoulders, any shoulders really. to afford this lifestyle of ever-changing beauty standards. You're not. And the best part is, even when you find your own little style in your own little happy world, in comes some light-haired, fair-skinned woman with a ring light suddenly turning your look into a trend. You know those girls that always look clean? Their skin is always glowing, their lips are always glossed, and they never, ever look like they're wearing too much makeup? Oh, clean girl aesthetic, you are the bane of my existence. This is also something that we've seen before, but it wasn't considered beautiful or trendy at the time. Instead, it was considered cheap, ugly, and ghetto. The clean girl aesthetic is just a rebrand of a thing that already existed. Black and brown women have been doing this clean girl aesthetic for literal decades. The slicked back hair, the gold hoops, and more recently, we have the whole brownie glazed lips debacle. Meanwhile, again, this is something that black and brown women have been doing for decades. It was already a thing. It has been a thing. And the issue isn't that people want to try new things with their makeup. That's not the problem. No, the issue is that this makeup and the big hoops and the slicked back hair and the nails were all deemed tacky for a long time. And now all of a sudden it's being perpetuated as this cool, trendy new look. Of course, not on people who look like us who already made that look a thing. And this has happened before and it will continue to happen. Again, the issue isn't wanting to try new things with your makeup. The issue is society as a whole looking down on certain aesthetics until they decide that it's cool. And instead of acknowledging where it came from, they just rebrand it and start calling things like agua fresca spa water. I'll never forget being called dirty in a chola for wearing hoops and a slick back pony. But now it's a clean girl. Si yo te digo que escuche no, nosotros lo creamos. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month. The double standard is real and it's disheartening and again really goes to show that you will never win against the beauty industry. Or against boys and girlies because apparently there's boy pretty versus girl pretty. Boy pretty being that this is what boys find attractive and girl pretty being this is what girls find attractive. Which do you also see it? But there's just something about this that rubs me the wrong way and anyone else see it no no se ve un poquito sospechoso i just mm, no y ahora anywho ha! another thing people used to get bullied for that's trendy now freckles one of my friends in school used to get bullied ruthlessly for freckles now we have people drawing them on and taking them off whenever they want don't get me wrong I, it's great that we're not bullying people for freckles anymore not that we should have been in the first place but it's just wild that now it's a trend like are we supposed to hate them again in four years i just i it's like a leap year for beauty trends by the time you catch up it's already too late you're behind sis take kylie jenner for example she can't even lit up to the beauty standards that her and her own family created so what does that say for the rest of us you g l y you ain't got no alibi you ugly uh uh you ugly what does that say for the kids on tiktok I'll tell you what it says. To be scared of aging, to get all the filler and all the Botox, to get hundreds of different skincare, to go shopping at Sephora, even though you're in the second grade. I smile a lot. And as I get older, I realize I'm getting smile lines. See? And if you're like me, I have a smile line hack for you. Do your usual skincare routine and then take a hydrating face mask and apply it on both of your smile lines. Then take an eye patch and lock that moisture in. I know it looks silly right now, but trust me, it works. It's gonna look amazing in the morning. Thank me later. She hates that she was always smiling and got smile lines. Always smiling? Y'all, smiling is such a great burden. I would love to smile more, but apparently TikTok thinks that's bad and I need to do facial exercises and lose my shine and will to live. Personally, I do think people should be able to do whatever they want to do with their own bodies, especially if it helps make them feel happier and better about themselves, including getting Botox or filler or laser hair removal or permanent makeup, whatever. But I do wish it wasn't because of societal pressures or because of beauty trends and solely just because they wanted to. In other words, do it for yourself, not for others or TikTok like the 10 year olds doing Sephora hauls full of retinol and anti-aging creams. Sweeties, put down the drunk elephant. Please, 
Just give us a break. It seems like a lot of the Sephora kids just buy all these products because their favorite influencers are telling them these are the it products for you to be that girl. And if you don't have them, you're not an it girl or a that girl. You're just a girl, I think. I, I don't know. It's just a lot of overconsumption and overconsumerism. Girl, that's rent money. And dude, don't even get me started on the morning routines. Honestly, kudos to you if you can wake up every morning with the will and time and money to do this. But that's just not realistic for everyone. And I don't like that if you're unable to do this, then you're not that girl. It's like casually mentions they're better than you. How to be an it girl. Be blonde. Girl? Guess I'm out. I'm just girl. <laughs> oh, did you know there's also a that time of the month routine? By the time you finish, the water was cold. <laughs> I mean this in the nicest, most unbiased way. The it girl slash that girl trend just looks like influencers with a shit ton of PR and free time or someone with a lot of money and free time. <laughs> I am all for self-care, seriously. But I feel like this sets an expectation that we need to have an insanely expensive and time-consuming self-care routine while also being an independent girl boss, which is just a lot. Yeah, I love myself, but I can't and I don't want to go in debt for it. And also, I'm just tired. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. As long as the beauty industry exists, and as long as toxic beauty trends like these on TikTok continue to exist, and you continue to let them get to you, there will always be a problem with you. And there will always be someone trying to sell you a solution. Human existence is way too special to waste on wishing you looked different. You're already beautiful, babe. I don't know what to tell you. The clock app isn't always right. And if for whatever reason you don't believe that you are, please, whatever you change about yourself, do it for yourself and not because social media is telling you to. Just remember, there is no one else on this earth that is you. You are the only you to ever exist. You don't have to change that. Period, sis. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up. I want to know what beauty trend you think is toxic or like was toxic. And if you have a video that you'd like to see from me, I have a form in my description where you can leave me your request and your ideas. Shout out the day goes to cat, kitten, or kitty. Thank you so, so much, queen. I think you also dropped this. <laughs> anyways, if you're not subscribed, yet uh you totally should that's actually the new trend right now so if you want to be trendy subscribe to just sharing oh my god now me talking smack about trends and then trying to create one that's so kentucky of me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i love you stay safe out there and stay beautiful bye